everyone, I'm Coach Roseanne. Welcome to the 49ers EDU Digital Playbook Review, where you'll get the inside scoop to get you ahead in the game. At 49ers EDU, we bring football to life through science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. We do this to show you how important those subjects are in everyday life and also to the game of football. We need people just like you who come from different cultures, backgrounds, and experiences to share their innovative thinking with the world. When we work together, we can come up with ideas and solutions. We can solve problems that help our communities, our school, our neighborhood, and even possibly the world. Our museum curator, Beth Atlas, had to use math and a lot of geometry when they were building the museum and also when she thinks about where and how to place objects and artifacts throughout the museum so that everything fits properly and viewable from various angles. In this lesson, I want to focus on a particular branch of math called geometry. We'll talk about shapes and angles. These may be terms you're not familiar with, but by the end of the review, you'll be able to identify what geometry is, name some shapes, and even recognize some common angles. So get ready to see how geometry is such an important part of football and how we see math everywhere, every day. If you have access to our digital playbook or a printout, we're going to focus on page 17 in this video. This page will help guide you through learning about shapes we see, particularly on the football field. Geometry and angles determine the way the players move around the field, the way the ball is thrown, and also the angle that a kicker needs to kick the ball. These are all very important. Our kicker, Robbie Gold, has to find the angle he needs to reach up and over the goalpost and how much power to put into his kick to score a field goal or an extra point. This is also how our quarterback, Jimmy G, makes a decision on how to reach a receiver when he throws the ball. Geometry is one of the oldest branches of math, and we use it when we construct buildings, cars, ships, and especially utilize during the building of Levi Stadium. I like to go over some terms that will help you understand what geometry is and add names to angles that we see all around us. Let's review some now, but before we do that, I want to mention that we use different units of measurements for angles. They are called degrees. Degrees tell us how wide or narrow an angle is. There are a few angles that I'd like to describe. The first one is a right angle. A right angle always has a 90 degree angle in the corner. The next angle is an obtuse angle. That has an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. And yet another angle is an acute angle. This is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. The first shape I want to show you is a square. A square has four equal sides and four right angles. This is what a right angle looks like. A right angle is 90 degrees. The next shape is a rectangle. A rectangle has two longer sides that are equal and two shorter sides that are equal. It also has four right angles. A circle is a round shape that has no corners or edges. In geometry, we describe it as a closed, curved shape. A circle is a shape where there is an equal distance from the center of the circle to any part of the shape. The next shape I want to introduce is a trapezoid. A trapezoid can look very differently. A trapezoid has two parallel lines and two angled lines. All sides do not need to be equal. Parallel lines are two lines that do not meet. Another shape is called an ellipse. An ellipse looks like a circle that's been stretched and we commonly call it an oval. The distance between the center of the shape and its end are not all equal. You may have one more shape in mind that looks very similar to an ellipse. You may see it in every game that we play. It's called a football. But a football has an actual name to the shape that it is, and that is called a prolate spheroid. It's a very difficult word. Can you say it? Say it with me. Prolate spheroid. Our next shape is a triangle. A triangle has three sides and three angles. There are different types of triangles, and they all may look slightly different. Now that we've defined some of the geometry terms and angles, look around your home. Point out where you see these shapes and angles. Look at the corner of a wall. Do you see an angle there? If you have a table or a desk, is it a square, a rectangle, or may even be a circle? When you're outside, I'll bet you'll see many of these in nature. Let's get ready to complete our activity now on page 17. 
On the page, you'll find a photo of Levi's Stadium and examples of the shapes we discussed. Now take some time and try to find the shapes and angles within the stadium. I think you'll be able to handle the rest on your own. Do your best to find as many shapes and angles as you can. Here's a fun extra point challenge. Look at the photo and see if you can find some angles and name them, whether they're a right angle, an obtuse angle, or an acute angle. Can you name the shape of our logo? Take your time completing the activity and don't be afraid to ask a grown-up for help. When you finish, you'll be an expert on geometry. You'll be able to look around wherever you are and see geometry in everything. See how this knowledge can help you tackle the rest of the playbook. We're all scientists, technologists, engineers, artists, and mathematicians. You just may not know that yet. Whether or not you choose a career in a STEAM subject, I hope you learn something new that may help you even change the world someday. You can share what you learned with friends and family and even create a fun game to see who can find and identify the most shapes or angles around your home or school. The more people we involve, the more people will learn and improve their knowledge. Please share your photos or videos with us by using the following links on social media at 49ers Community or using hashtag 49ersEDU. You can even email us directly at edu at 49ers.com. Thank you for participating and learning with me today. I hope you had fun.